Hi, I'm Dalo, and today I have a really, really exciting video for those of you that have the Chademo adapter or those that are thinking about getting the Chademo adapter. And first of all, a lot of you guys have been asking me like, how is the adapter performing now that it has been in use for over a year? And I have only good things to say. This adapter has been now used uh, by me and a lot of my friends and family, because a lot of them own Nissan Leafs. So we have kind of been sharing this adapter and like every time someone is going on a road trip or something, they bring this adapter with them. And that kind of helps also uh, spread out this um, high investment cost, because this adapter was originally quite pricey. So it is really nice to have it kind of as a like shareable thing and yeah, it makes it more uh, tolerable. But uh, the adapter itself, it has gotten uh, several software updates uh, since it launched, which has like improved the compatibility uh, with all the chargers. And we have this uh, spreadsheet where we have been listing uh, not only this adapter, this is the long good uh, adapter version, but also there are other like uh, adapter brands available now. I think there are over five. So it can be a bit confusing like which adapter you should choose. But Maybe after watching this video, it will uh, be a bit more helpful to pick an adapter because there is some really, really good news about this uh, long good adapter. And to talk more about that, we have to go and check out the computer. So let's go. Okay, some of you might already have looked at the title of this video and know what this is about, but there's the full story. So last week I was looking at this uh, spreadsheet with the adapter compatibility. And this is a really nice list where people have like been adding like what chargers are working uh, on different types of adapters, etc. And this list is like growing all the time and we have now over 300 entries to it, which is like really nice. But what I noticed what was that under this uh, Dongguan long good adapter, where we list the firmware updates, there is now an open source firmware available. And this is, oh, oh this is amazing. So this is the repository uh, made by OS Expert, and they have managed to completely write a new firmware for this adapter. And why is this such a big deal? Well, there are multiple reasons. But like mentioned here in this uh, uh, repository, uh, the original firmware is based on this open PLC, or it appears like that, and they are emulating Chademo 0.9 and not Chademo 1.0. And there are also missing some of the CCS shutdown mechanisms, etc. Slack issues. Um, the, it can be a bit fiddly to get it started with some chargers. But this firmware aims to improve it and just make it way more reliable. And like this is such a nice, nice update. And you can check out the releases here. Uh, there's gonna be like tested versions that you can like download here. You can download the zip file to get it. It will be listed as which firmware or which uh, chargers have been like tested. And like, wow, this is amazing. The, it's like, there are like several things here that are like really good with this. Like we are no longer relying on the manufacturer. There are like no risks if they like go out of business. Like we can continue to make this adapter better ourselves. We can add support for uh, new chargers that come to the market. And we can like add functionality to the adapter that it did not really come with. Uh, for instance, uh, here you can see that there's a special mode now also available where you can force the internal contactor to like open close, which can help if it has become like welded or stuck together. So amazing things like this. And like the sky is the limit here. Like we can, we can potentially add the vehicle to X and we can write all this code ourselves and make it work exactly like we want to. I mean, this is amazing. And keep in mind that this is all still quite new. Like this repository has only been live. Like the first release was only like two weeks ago. So this is like really, really early stages of this. But be sure to check back on this repository. Uh, make sure you start it and like uh, show uh, OS expert that you really also care about this project. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have tested out this uh, firmware and uh, what you think about it. And if you have issues, 
I guess you can you can also report them here uh, in the GitHub repository, and yeah, we can try to take a look at it and make the adapter even better. And a lot of you guys are asking also, like, where do you get this adapter? And my recommendation in EU would be to go to uh, autonlottery.com, and this is where I have like purchased the adapter. And yeah, I can really recommend it. It comes with a two-year warranty, and they ship uh, all over Europe. So yeah, very nice. But yeah, let me know uh, your thoughts on this. I am at least extremely, extremely interested in seeing where this is going. So yeah, doll out. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. Bye.